hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i am going to discuss some important chords from exam point of view in rep of the log by alexander pop so we'll analyze these chords the themes the characters and line uh, to context of this chords or lines from rep of the log the detailed line by line analysis explanation is available on my channel also the summaries of all the cantos character analysis theme analysis symbol analysis is also available you better watch these videos to clear their concepts in this video i uh, let me discuss important chords and their explanation so let's get started canto one chords what dire offense from a morous cause springs what mighty contest arise from trivial things sing this verse to carly muse is due what says strange motive goddess could compel a well-bred lord to assault a gentle belly so related characters in this are lord baron belinda and carol and related theme is the theme highlighted is the triviality of court life now we'll see uh, explanation and analysis <clears throat> these are the opening lines of canto one and the poem is uh, uh, pop is describing the what the poem is going to about so he emphasized this sense of triviality by including the opening lines hallmark of the epic poem as in other epics or any poetry there is invocation of muse to inspire him to write and the muses you know these are the goddess of art and poetry any poet uh, invoke get inspiration from them to write as do the pop but epic poems typically were associated with serious subject and pop has already told that uh, told, told the readers that this is not a serious poem it's a trivial incident and this introduced the reader to recurring contrast between the loftiness of epic style and relative unimportance of the events by comparing the satire he to use to satire on that he used uh, this technique of comparing important things significant uh, allusions to classical epics and compare them with trivial incidents to achieve that uh, epic style to make mockery or parody of that society another important quote court is or lines from the text is for when the fair in all their pride expire to their first elements their soul retire the sprites of fiery termagants in flame mount up and take a salamander's name soft yielding minds to water glide away and sip with nymphs their elemental tea the grave prudes sinks downward to norm in search of mischief still on earth to roam the light coquettes in self love repair and sport and flutter in fields of air related characters involve is ariel the guarding spirit of belinda his speaker then umbrel another spirit belinda and the themes involved in this gender roles morality and religion now we'll analyze it that ariel speech to sleeping belinda where the self come from he is describing her where the self come from and how their women transform into self according to their what's a virtues or function when uh, he he explains that after they die women souls return to their first elements and become spirits ariel explained that all women souls are sorted into one of four categories the fiery woman becomes salamanders a salamander it's is a lizard kind of lizard associated with fire and soft yielding women become water spirits while any woman who is prude become a uh, earthly norm and coquettes i mean the flirting women's beautiful women they become sylphs a woman who is too prim proper to be desirable has dull spirit which is sings until it becomes a norm a malicious creature and the light spirits of the coquettes beautiful flirting women 
and transform into silk which flutter through the air and and the supernatural elements he has been discussed that women who who are considered attractive are effective reported becoming by silk while those who are not punished by becoming norms and pop way of parodying real contemporary court life by creating such a harsh division in their parody world between women who are seen as desirable and women who are not another court with varying vanities from every part they shift the moving toy shop of their heart where wicks with wicks with sword not with sword not strife box spanish box coaches couches drive this erring mortal's levity may call oh blind to truth the silk contrive it all related characters ariel the speaker belinda and the themes involved in this triviality of court life morality and religion faith so this passage uh, ariel speech to sleeping belinda again explain who the sylphs are what their purpose is and here he explain how the sylph manage the love life of women they got and pop emphasize how silly and superficial the world of court is and the court activities and noble struggles depicted in epical poetry compared with epical poetry where wicks with wicks sword with sword box with box Uh, okay, I'll uh, discuss that uh, how these uh, sword with sword wicks with read battles in epic uh, poetry, including translation of Iliad, Homer's Iliad, and uh, armor with armor, lens with lens, and to discuss how trivial court life is. The image of the self treating as a woman heart is like a toy shop that one day there is one lover on another day there is another lover it become like a toy shop and self can have extremely control over human affairs actually the women are not to be blamed for their actions actually they, their actions have been controlled by the selves <clears throat> let us i rank the crystal wheels of air in the clear mirror of thy ruling star i saw alas some dread event impend are to men this morning sun descend but heaven reveals not what or how or where won by self or pious maid beware this to disclose is all thy guardian can beware of all but must beware of men Yes, again the speaker is Ariel, and he speaks to Belinda. Themes are gender roles and uh, morality and faith. The, this is again of uh, Ariel's speech. He is warning Belinda about an our upcoming danger. He foreseen the danger, a disaster. Uh, he exactly not know what the disaster is, but he beware Belinda of the man. and that uh, in his task to guarding belinda as a beautiful because she is just this virgin young woman addressing her so a pious maid she, because she is virgin and this conflicts with the earlier actions for instance he summons a dream of a handsome young man this dream sexually tempts belinda as demonstrated by her physical response of flushing dream cast her cheeks to glow and ariel this is in quite a concern with belinda's justice as he claims to be and belinda's reaction proves that it doesn't follow that simply because a woman chooses to remain a virgin she is purged of all sexual desires and truly a pious she appears another important quotation is is a heavenly image in the glass appears to to that she bends to that her eyes she rears the inferior prites at her altar side trembling begins the sacred rites of pride so characters is betty her servant belinda betty the servant of belinda then belinda and uh, themes involved is beauty and poetry and then morality and religion belinda has awakened now and elaborate process of beautifying herself has begun and uh, she is concerned about her beauty and pops adds a religious elements to image of her reflection when she bends in prayer and engage in a literal self worshiping self 
preparing herself and uh, also poking fun at the fact that she is without any real religious or moral conviction lack of faith is there and these beautiful rituals are sacred rites of pride petty as inferior pride is and dressing table is become an altar a sacred place you know and pop humorously compares belinda's beauty routine to pagan rituals and he is once again essentially suggesting that this vanity has no more value at all and another important quotation here files of pins extend their shining cross puffs border pages bibles billet box so main character here is belinda the theme is beauty religious and morality so belinda's dressing tables occur towards the end of canto 1 elaborate process of beautifying herself as beacon and her table become as an altar a religious sacred place and which mocks her vanity demonstrating that the comical amount of time and effort she put in her beautifying and the mentioning of bible among trivial things in the middle of list of trivial things objects such as makeup puffs borders and billet box which means refers to love letters so here he wants to make a parody or stare on her lack of conviction in religious faith and pop replaces the bibles within jumble of trivial themes suggesting that belinda is failing to differentiate properly between what is of little moral value and what is of great moral values so these are important quotation from canto 1 now we'll analyze some important quotation exam from important from exam point of view quotation in canto 2 oh her white breeze her sparkling cross she wore with juice might kiss and in fiddles do main character belinda and uh, theme is religion and morality belinda now traveling to a boat into a hometown court and she mentions of necklace she is wearing a necklace Uh, there is christian cross you know symbol a sacred symbol in christianity and uh, this cross she wears she appear uh, use it as a ornament or a cosmetic not a religious symbol so that uh, because belinda wears it that's why the jews the infidels the pagans uh, begin to get uh, attracted towards it jews even might kiss it and infidels adore it so this means that even non christians people would enchanted by its sparkling beauty and perhaps even its position on belinda's white breast uh white breast become fulfilling a decorative function and belinda's character then appears to be less motivated by christian morality and more motivated by desire to make most of her beauty by adorning herself with sparkling trinkets and another important quotation is if to her share some female errors fall look on her face and you will forget them all character belinda relate themes beauty and gender roles is there she is at hampton court and uh, her beauty is admired by all get attraction validation she get attraction and validation her beauty is so exceptional that to gaze on her face uh, is enough to make the observe anyone observe her overlooked by female errors so a uh, female errors here they are relative for her if an, uh, another women ca- commit those errors these are errors if belinda commit this errors these are not errors because her beauty compromise for that and by looking at her she is so beautiful that by looking at her you forget all of her errors and her beauty act is uh what we uh, say compensate for uh, her errors and exempted her from any error and importance afforded to her beauty by around her moral judgment solely based on spectral appearance and uh, pop is also making quite incisive point about gender roles here that he ridiculed belinda's vanity as fundamentally superficial and pointless and she evidently lives is hugely superficial society and the idea that belinda is able to use her beauty and embrace her femininity in order to transcend the kinds of harsh judgment
Another important quotation, loves in this labyrinth, his slaves detain and mighty hearts held in slender chain. So important related uh, characters, Baron and Belinda, themes, beauty, gender, symbol is of lock and this is description of Belinda's lock that her locks are very beautiful and uh, locks are able to they, they possess such a beauty they hold such a beauty to make other slaves and locks are able to ensnare men with their remarkable beauty and metaphorical her hair is able to metaphorically overpower men's mighty hearts and hold them captive subverts the more tradition idea that men are meant to be dominant and women are meant to be submissive and uh, this also emphasizes female empowerment as well that female beauty possess such a such a power that they can tempt any men and uh, another important quotation for this are Phoebus Ross had implored propitious heaven every power door but chiefly love to love and altars built or twelve false French romances neatly gilt there lay three garters half a pair of gloves and all the trophies of his former love with tender spilly dogs he light the pyre and breathless three amorous sighs to raise the fire the character is Baron and the themes are trivility of court life, gender roles, morality and religion and symbols include the log. Explanation is there are few pus, it's a name of God, the sun god in Greek mythology and Baron's had prayed before uh, God of Love to gain the log of Belinda and he is able to win Belinda's logs. He pray and he built a pyre and uh, to sacrifice his love letters and all of these to gain Belinda's lock Baron is engaging in same kind of morality questionable pagans inspire activities in epic poetry pirates are usually rather serious affairs do used to cremate bodies to make important sacrifice to God but the Baron's pyre is effectively a, a light-hearted parody of classical Pyre trivial tokens of love, love letters, able to draw a comical comparison between the lofty world of epical poetry and superficial uh, and silly world of court life to highlight just how superficial and silly it is. Another quotation whether the name shall break Diana's law or some frail China jar receive a flaw or stain her honor, her new brocade, forget her prayers, miss a musket, lose her hair, heart, or necklace at a ball, whether heaven has doom that shock may fall. So, characters Ariel, the speaker, the shock, the dog, and the parent and Belinda themes. Trivility of court life, gender roles, morality, and faith. So, this is Ariel's speech, and make to the other sylphs, and he foresees a disaster. And uh, first, the disaster he envisages it in Palindas will lose. Uh, he he just make a guesses that what that disaster might be. And uh, here you will see that Bob by comparing an important incidents to a trivial things he mock or satire on them such as important losing her virginity which is high stake and important and another compare it with uh, discussing it with the trivial thing uh, uh, okay trivial things such as we'll see lo uh, or losing of her dog or losing a necklace at party okay and pop also draws out a silliness of this world and values as through ariel's eyes and belinda's might stain her honor and uh, her new brocade contrasts the metaphorical standing of reputation with the literal standing of new gown and it creates the impression of Ariel as a character who is humorously superficial and values the two equally and losing a heart or necklace at a ball and forget her prayers or miss a musket. Musket is a, uh, you can say, a party where you wear mask. So these are um, quotes from hand out two important quotes so the video will go too long and uh, 
I'll make a separate video on important chords and their analysis in a separate video from Kentro 3 to 5. Hope you understand. Notes are in the description. If you have queries, ask me and follow my page link in the description. Thank you.